There is nothing quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we just can't wait for us all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top in front of a packed house. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. Such a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you today, live action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Real Madrid up against Real Betis. Well, Derek. Modric, a smart stop here. It's a short one. Couldn't quite hang on. And well positioned to clear. And it's opening up. Corner for Real Madrid. Can someone get on the end of this? Just wanted to get it out of there. On a player you simply cannot take your eyes off, midfield strategist Luka Modric. Stuart, what sort of display do you think we'll see from Modric as far as this game is concerned? Well, Derek, if he's not closed down quickly today, he could score one of those special goals he's known for because he's got great technique. He hits through the back of the ball, it starts to dip and swerve on the goalkeeper, and it's difficult for the goalkeeper to keep hold of them. He could be the key to breaking down this defence. And saved by the keeper. And they need to get tighter. And a chance to whip it in here. Still looking for space. Splendid defending. Modric. A very timely interception. Oh, what an opportunity. Straight forward for the keeper. How to play Real Madrid throw here. Lucas Vasquez. What can Real do from this position? Can they forge ahead? No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Fekia. Opportunity to take the lead. Still alive. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. And a fine stop. Well, he knows that was a big chance to take the lead there. They've just got to keep plugging away. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. William. Well, oh, Betty's a bit sloppy in possession. Tony Kroos. Now Jose Lu. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there.
Let's fly here. Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. Nabil Fekir. Well, Real have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Oh, a good diving save. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Elects to go short. Determined defending. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Course, making quite a bit of progress. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. William Carvalho. And unable to keep possession. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. The cross is on. Is it going to be Jose Lu? Well, spot on with that challenge. Cross, it looks promising. A fine reading of the situation. Jose Perez a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here well Tony Kors a player who really can dominate a game and suffice it to say that's exactly what he's doing Stuart well Derek he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Now well, they've given him too much space. This could level it. He's foiled them on his own. Well, they've created very little game so far unless they can show more guile in that top third of the field this is going to be a really disappointing day for them they need to improve and quickly and saved by the keeper and they're making a change
and played short. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, threat over for now. Modric. Look at Modric. Well, possibilities inside the box. And he clears it out of harm's way. And a goal kick will be next. Socrates Ezekiel Avila and with that the attack fizzles out now can they counter clinically just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game well alas the finish didn't match the build up well, you're absolutely right. Not the finish they were hoping for, but an excellent counter-attack. They really do break forward quickly. Sabali. Jose Perez this might be ideal for the counter and he's broken free the net is staring him in the face and the keeper's technical skills there for all to see well from that close in that's a really good save such good reflexes Going short. And a goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Ezequiel Avila. Ball with Pablo Fornals. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. This attack looks highly promising. Keeper getting the touch. Well, no damage done. Diaz. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Ezekiel Avila. 15 minutes left for play. Possession one. Jude Bellingham. Jose Lu. This is Kroos. It did look on for them, but not to be. Nabil Fekir. Fekir. Could pull one back here. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but.
Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, disappointing end to the move. Well, he was... And a penalty it is! Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. And this could really make certain. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Well, here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way, and it makes it a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. Well, no wonder Ancelotti's delighted. They're bossing the game now. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Five minutes left. Fekir. Fekir. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Vinicius Junior. Oh, fancy footwork. What a block! So two minutes of stoppage time here. Over it comes. Well, not cleared away completely. Vinicius. And a very good challenge. The corner kicks keep on coming. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, good work by the keeper. And the danger cleared. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on the result, not least from 12 yards. He always looked confident, though. You just didn't expect him to miss.